Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And today, we're going to learn about differentiation, and we're going to talk about the power constant and sum rules. Differentiate each function with respect to x. That's what we got to do. So, we're given this function. y equals 5 fourths x to the 2 thirds. Okay? So, 5 fourths times x to the thir 2 thirds. When people see fractions, all of a sudden they start freaking out. Don't worry about it. All we need to do is still follow the power rule here. So, dy, dx, where the power rule, taking the derivative, power comes down 2 thirds times 5 fourths x to the power 2 thirds minus 1. Same thing. We take the exponent, we subtract 1, and we bring that exponent, or the first exponent before we subtract it, down in front of multiplication. And I'm writing completely sideways. Let's kind of twist that here at my next step here. So, let's simplify this a little bit. dy dx is equal to 2 times 5, which is 10, over 3 times 4, which is uh, 12, okay? x to the, now what's 2 thirds minus 1? Well, 2 thirds minus 1, you need this right here. Well, 2 thirds minus 1 is the same thing as 3 over 3. 2 thirds minus 3 thirds is a negative 1 third, okay? So, to the negative 1 third power. Okay, now here, this is what becomes tricky, okay? So, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to simplify the 10 over 12 to be 5 over 6, okay? So we have dy dx equals 5 over 6 here uh, times, well, x to the negative 1 third power is the same thing, right? We don't like the negative exponents in our final answer. So it's 1 over x to the 1 third power, okay? And now I can go combine this and be one big fraction. dy dx is 5, right? Multiply across 5 over 6 x to the one-third power, and that's how we would write our final answer. So let's recap here. We're given y equals five-fourths x to the two-thirds power. When I derive this, I'm using the power rule, so I bring down the two-thirds out of to the front to multiply, and I take my exponent to subtract one by. Now, you could have simplified the fraction here, which mm, probably would have done normally, but it's all good. Two times five is ten, three times four is twelve. Fantastic. And if you need help doing the subtraction in your head, 2 thirds minus 1 is kind of written out here as a negative 1 third. Well, there are fractions there. So now we have 10 over 12 x to the negative 1 third power. I simplified 10 over 12 to be 5 6, and then multiplied. Well, 10, I mean, x to the negative 1 third power is the same thing as 1 over x to the positive 1 third power. And we don't really like negative exponents in our final answer. So now we can multiply across, across the numerator and across the denominator, giving me my final answer, which is dy dx is equal to 5 all over 6x to the 1 power.